Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. Where do you go to borrow up to $10,000 when you have bad credit? When you can't go to the bank, can't go to the credit unions, where do you go? Well, here's a few lenders that may be able to help you. The first one is Cash USA, okay? And they loan up to 10. And here's the interesting thing about it. They're not focused more on your personal credit, like with the banks or credit unions. They're focused more on your disposable income. OK, in terms of how much income do you have disposable where you're able to show that you can pay this loan back. Now, here's the thing about it. With some of these lenders that I'm going to show you, they may not check like your Equifax TransUnion Experian files. Right. So they may check third party databases that they own, like they own Clarity, which is owned by Experian. You have Data X, which is owned by Equifax. Then you have a uh, Trust Factor, which is owned by TransUnion. Those are your financial third party credit bureaus. Also, they may check Lexus. So you won't get that hard inquiry on your credit file. All right. But one of the key things I would tell you if you're trying to get these type of up to $10,000 loans, one of the key factors you have to understand is making sure that you have an active checking account with deposits. OK, that's one of the key things, having an active phone number, having an active email. So you have to have something in place. Many people say, well, they turned me down. Well, here's the thing about it. What, how much income did you put down? That's another big part. If you say that you only making $1,500 a month, right? However, you're sharing rent with somebody else. And that rent is, uh, say, $800. So your rent is actually only $400 because you're sharing it with somebody else. So you also have to calculate in what the other person in the household is contributing. So that would bring down your debt to income ratio. All right. So that's very important. And that's the reason why you can have be on welfare. You can be on disability. But do not forget to include that other income in the household that helps you get by. So make sure you don't do that. All right. Now, here's the thing about it. What are the criteria with this here? Cash USA loan. All right, the first cash USA criteria is be 18, U.S. citizen, be employed for at least 90 days, and meet the lender's income minimum specifications. Okay, now cash USA, they are a platform, okay, that looks to work with people with subpar credit. All right, so that's the first one. The next one is opportune. Now, please keep in mind with some of these lenders, they are not nationwide. They may be in maybe about up to 25, 30 states, not all 50 states. So keep that in mind. But like with opportune, opportune offers loans and everything like that. And the good thing about it with opportune, as you can see here, they loan up to 10,000 well. All right. Now, one other thing, if you have bad credit, one of the things you do have to factor in when you have bad credit is that you're going to have a high interest rate. OK, that's just the reality of it. All right. But hey, right now, when your back is against the wall, your car done broke down, you need to try to move into a new place. Something may have happened that you wasn't unprepared for and you need money right away. These are the type of lenders that you're going to have to turn to, unfortunately. Right. But. Opportune, definitely they offer loans up to 10,000, right? It's net credit. Now, here's the thing about net credit. They offer two types of loans, all right? So they would offer personal loans that range from 1,000 up to 10,000. Then they offer lines of credit that range from 500 up to 4,500. Now, as you can see here, but your eligibility will depend on the state that you reside in. Because certain states, they have a, a certain amount that they're only allowed to lend, okay? So you just have to keep that in mind. But in terms of some of the criteria, all right, how I requalify. So you can requalify for this loan. But one thing I wanted to point out are net credit personal loans unsecured. Absolutely. These are unsecured loans. So you're not, not putting up any collateral and stuff. And one of the good things about it, Again, many of these here loans and stuff, you're able to apply without looking at that hard inquiry on the credit file. OK, now 
Here, here's where you see it. Can I get a personal loan or line of credit with bad credit? This is where they're telling you they're not focused on just the credit score. It's not about the, just the credit score. All right. It's about your income, your disposable income. That's the reason that I was stressing that. And so they use like my score saver and cr my credit builder and stuff. To, that's the way that they actually look at your credit and stuff like that. Now, again, these are third party where they do a soft pull to see what's going on to make sure. Here's the key. Most of these uh, lenders here, they're trying to make sure that you're not in a bankruptcy. OK, that you're not in a bankruptcy or depending on how long it's been since you came out of the bankruptcy. Right. So that's what they're worried about. Are they going to get their money back? All right. So when you apply for this, make sure make sure you're including all the income that you actually have in the household. All right. That'll help your debt to income ratio on called bad credit loans. They loan up to 10,000 as well. So you would have to run it, put put the amount in and they'll see how much you actually qualify for, all right? And again, like I said, this is a platform. But hey, when you're needing money and you have nobody you can turn to, no family members, the banks won't help you out, the credit unions won't help you out, you need to go somewhere, all right? And so again, like I said, with these type of platforms, unfortunately, interest rates is going to be high, okay? But at the same time, if they're able to get you up to 10 and when you're in a bind, then hey, it is what it is, right? Now, here's another interesting thing that we're going to talk about, another lending platform, and that's personal loans. Personal, all right? Now, their loans go anywhere from 250 up to $35,000. So that's the thing about it. So when you put in your information and stuff, it goes through their database and they try to find lenders that are willing to work with people with subpar credit. All right. Now here's the thing about it. So that you won't, since these are different databases that's going to be bidding for your loan and stuff like that, if they're able to help you, they may continue to solicit you. So if you don't want them to continue to solicit you, you may have to create another email, right? But that's one big factor that they definitely want to look at. Do you have an active email? All right. Now, again, like I said, it's not all about just the credit alone. You know, they look at how long you've been on the job. They look at, you know, what's the amount of income you got. So again, if you're on disability, welfare, those type of things will not disqualify you for these type of loans. All right. Just keep that in mind. Unfortunately, with a higher interest rate is money mutual. Now, money mutual, unlike the others, they only loan up to five. But hey, they're very flexible and they're willing to work with you. I know a lot of you guys, again, get caught up on the interest rate. But here's the thing about it. If you need the money. And you need to pay those bills. Hey, you know that you have to do what you got to do, especially if you can't turn to a family member or a friend. So in terms of money mutual, here's some of the Q&A, the questions. How soon can I get the money? How long does it take for money mutual? Does it cost anything to use money mutual? How will I know a lender decides to work with me? What are the terms and details of my loan? So they're answering those questions for you. All right. Now, a few other lenders I'm going to talk about right quick is uh, in universal credit. OK, so with universal credit, as you can see, their loans go from a thousand up to fifty thousand. Now, here's the reason I like them, because with them, you, all you need is a 560 credit score. OK, now keep in mind. Having a 560 credit score, but if you got good income, you have a higher chance of being approved because it's going off of your debt to income ratio. All right. So that's the reason I tell you, don't be scared to look for lenders that may be willing to work with you if you're a bank or credit union. All right. That's the reason that I create these videos because I'm trying to find ways to actually help you. Here's the thing about it with universal credit is that. You can have up to 75% debt 
debt to income rate. That's right, up to 75% debt to income ratio in order to qualify with them, okay? So in terms of the amount of income, as long as you're bringing in at least $1,500 a month in income, you may qualify for a loan, okay? So minimum usually is about, I said 12 to 15, but to be on the safer side, you at least want to have an income of about 15, okay? A lot of these other lenders that I mentioned, you doing about maybe a uh, hundred and up. I know with opportune, they usually, if you're doing about five hundred, they're willing to work with you as well, as long as you have an income of at least five hundred dollars or more. All right. Now, for those of you that may have questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, removing negative items off of the credit, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.